Welcome to KH Radio and our third lockdown programme. On today's show... Artists, violinist, swimmer, hiker, paddleboarder, bungee jumper, skydiver, zip wire. Can you guess which Horford teacher we're describing? Sustainable Sums, Horford's first ever Green Maths Day. And who is playing this tune? More lockdown resolutions on KH Radio. Good morning. It's week three of lockdown school. How are you coping? Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Okay, so we're a bit early for Valentine's Day, but we're talking about love this morning because the Horford PA wants you to make a video about what you love. It's a competition, so start getting creative. Don't know if I'm being the competition is called For the Love of Horford, and what you have to do is this. Think of something you really love about your school. It could be something you do, or a particular place in Horford, or a special person. The next thing is to film yourself, or get your mum or dad to film you. Your video needs to be posted on Dojo, or email to Mr Stiggin or Mr Turner. Next up, did you know that our new Horford head, Mrs P, has a really wild side? On last week's programme, we found out quite a bit about her. Today, we've got part two of that interview for you. What is the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I had a bit of a mad year when I was 18 and I did two bungee jumps and I jumped out of an aeroplane with a parachute as well. I've done very recently the longest zip wire in the world, which is in Wales, believe it or not, and it's incredible. They just put you at the top of a mountain basically and send you down a zip wire head first. So I really like scaring myself sometimes. Do you like the outdoors? I love the outdoors and at the moment I live in Monmouth which is a really lovely part of the country. We've got lots of hills and valleys and rivers and we spend a lot of time, my family, outdoors hiking on our mountain bikes and loads of swimming and paddle boarding in the river as well. What are your hobbies outside of school? I did an art degree before I became a teacher so I do like to do a bit of painting and also some um, ceramics if I get a chance as well. What is your favourite song? Oh, I've got so many. I have to say, one of the greatest memories is, I don't know if you know the song Sing by Gary Barlow. My girls sang that song in St David's Hall in Cardiff, along with five other primary schools and the African Children's Choir who were visiting. And they all got up, five schools, so hundreds and hundreds of children on the stage and sang that song. And as a mum, that made me quite tearful. It was amazing. So every time that song comes on now, I have a flashback to how I felt then. What's your favourite book? My favourite book at the moment is a book called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse and it's by Charlie Maxey and it's a beautiful book with incredible illustrations in it. Everybody loves it, whether you're two or 82, but every page you open has got a beautiful picture on it and something to think about as well. Really brilliant book, I recommend it. Holford News and Events with KH Radio. This week, our reception children have been very busy. The whole class have been baking together via Zoom and doing an amazing topic about people who help us. They watch short films made by a paramedic and a vet nurse, made posters and have a message for all our key workers. Thank you for the key workers. Thank you for the key workers. Thank you. On Friday, it's Horford's first ever Green Maths Day. We've had Maths Days before and we've had a Green Day before, but never both together. So what will we be doing differently? Well, the theme is Mathematics for a Better World and it will be linked to our theme of sustainability. So we'll be thinking about how maths can help with conservation. Expect activities to do with endangered species, polar ice caps and wind turbines. And if you can, dress up in a numbered top or make a number and pin it onto your shirt. Do you have a favourite or a lucky number? KH Radio! New Year's resolution. Lockdown resolution. What will you learn in 2021? Yeah! 
My resolution uh, this year is to spend a bit more time doing things for me. Like for Christmas, I was given a guitar. Um, so this year I am spending a bit of time learning or trying to learn the guitar and setting a bit of time to practice. It's an acoustic guitar, it's very nice, it's a Fender. I just think that's quite a good make. I'm not a, an expert musician. I haven't learned an instrument since I was 12, so it's a bit of a um, leap in the dark, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm loving it, especially during the last couple of weeks. Um, I've finished work, I've sat in the dining room, and I've taught myself a few songs. It's been really good to, to think about something different. Well done to Mr Cook. Keep up the practice. Now it's time for our competition, and today we've got a math challenge for you. Listen up, Year 4 to 6. This maths rap is for you. A rich billionaire has £50,000. He gives it to the WWF. He gives half to the turtles, 15000 to the snow leopards. How much do the polar bears get? Beatboxing by Henry and Ayrton and words by Daniel. This question is for reception to year three only. Can you work out this sum? Molly has 17 couple boxes. Boxes, boxes, boxes. She loses four couple boxes. How many boxes does she have left? Can you work out the answers to those maths questions? That's it for this programme. Don't forget to find or make a piece of clothing with a number on it for our maths day. Goodbye!